Hi everyone, in this screencast we'll take a look at a mind mapping tool by the name of Mind Map, Mind Mup. Uh, it's a very simple and easy to use tool uh, available in Chrome or any uh, browser basically that uh, supports uh, Google Drive. Um, it is a Google Drive add-on and it's really easy to use. Um, it also allows for sharing and collaborative editing, so if you wanted to co-create a mind map with somebody else, um, that is totally possible. Um, I guess to start with, let's look at how you can add the add-on. Uh, you'll see I'm in Google Drive right now. Um, I apologize for the noise in the background. They're actually uh, jackhammering uh, next door to build our new office. Um, but uh, in Google Drive, if you want to add an add-on to Drive, all you need to do is click the New button, look under More, and you'll see I've got a whole bunch of um, add-ons in my uh, Google Drive. But if you scroll to the bottom, um, the button you want to press is right here, Connect More Apps. When I click on that, I get a pop-up, and all I need to do is type in Mind Map, and you'll see there's lots of other uh, plugins and extensions, or sorry, add-ons, I should say, that you can add to this. But if I choose Mind Map, um, all I need to do is look for this one, Mind Map 2.0. Um, use this one, not the original one, the Mind Map. Um, this is a newer version; it has more features, um, a little bit easier to use. And all you have to do, and you can see I've already pressed it, is press the blue connect button. Um, you see, for me, I don't have the blue connect button because I've already added this uh, add-on to my uh, Google Drive. And as you can see, there's lots of other uh, tools to fit that search parameter as well, and you can feel free to play with any of those. So once you've added your mind map um, 2.0 add-on, to access it, it's very straightforward. I just go to New, click More, and simply scroll down to MindMap 2.0 for Google Drive. Um, and if I press that, immediately I'm taken to MindMap. Um, it may ask you for permission, uh, so if it does, just go ahead and uh, press uh, Allow. And uh, as you can see, I've got a blank mind map here. Um, now, there's lots of ways of creating nodes, but the easiest way is to simply double click on the first one, and we're going to type in our central idea. So maybe um, let's talk about rabbits. And while I have that selected, I can press the tab key, and that'll give me a child node. So you can see it immediately created the child node based on me pressing the tab key. And so maybe I might do an R as my connecting word, and I'll press uh, tab again. I might uh, type fluffy. And this time, because I want a sibling node, another node that's at the same level, I'm going to press my enter key. There we go. small, um, quiet, and then maybe I might actually add another connecting word. So I'll go back to my rabbits by clicking on there, and I'll hit tab again because I want a new child node. You can see it creates it on the other side, and I might say what they like. So they like, again press tab, carrots, a, lettuce, and maybe I might say, um, that they do, go ahead and press delete on that one. Instead of that, I meant to hit tab, and so I'll go do dump. I I'd run fast. And obviously, there's a million different uh, tools you can use for this. Uh, for example, a fair model would work well in here, or any other uh, concept you might want to uh, put together. But at its simplest level, that's all it does. Um, however, what I can do now is I can actually uh, right-click on any of these boxes, and I can do things like 
change color. So if I hit change color, I might make that uh, a green tab. I might actually uh, click on more than one. So shift click to select multiple and make all of those green um, just to make them visually the same. Um, if I want to, I could actually take uh, carrots and I could attach a file. So if I had a document or a picture about uh, carrots, um, I could just click there and add it. I can also uh, click here where I have a node image. And if I click on that, it'll give me the option of either uh, going to the photos I currently have on Google Drive, which uh, um, on this um, you don't see anything super interesting unless I scroll down to my family pictures. Um, or I can just upload one directly, but uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, double click this photos from posts and uh, here we go. Silly mind map or uh, silly uh, Minecraft uh, uh, shape that uh, that I created a while back. So I'll hit save and you'll see that that node now has a graphic on it. Um, there are a million directions you can go with this. Um, like I say, if I want to, I could actually uh, attach a file or um, put a link onto it. Um, again, it uh, ties directly to my Google Drive. And so if I had a file that I wanted to include on this, uh, there we go. So maybe I might do a Freyer model as uh, a document I want to attach. You'll see it turns into a paperclip, and anyone viewing this file can actually click that paperclip, and it'll bring up your uh, document. Um, really, it's as simple as that. Um, any of the nodes, if you want to rearrange them, you can. Um, move them around in different ways. Um, if you want to share with others, you can go ahead and press share and the typical Google share box will come up and you can either type your uh, Gmail accounts of people you want to share with or get a shareable link if you want to do it that way. Um, there are um, um, basically the same uh, permissions you would have with any Google Docs. So you can edit, you can uh, comment or you can view. And this allows for live editing. And that's really mind map in a nutshell. If uh, you go back to your um, drive, you'll see that uh, mind map is, or rabbits is now one of my files. I can share it there. I can double click on it and open it at any point. Um, and uh, it's ready to go. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout.